Since the recent bank failures, a lot of people are concerned about the safety and accessibility of their money. We've had viewers firing off some pretty good questions about this topic, saying, is your money protected just as good at a credit union? You ask, and this morning, here's Jerry Carnes to verify. Everyone wants to know that their money is safe, but recent developments in the banking industry prompted a lot of questions. Several people emailed us asking, do credit unions insure deposits the same way as traditional banks? Let's verify. Our sources are Georgia's Department of Banking and Finance, Dan Berger with the National Association of Federally Insured Credit Unions, and Rohan Ganduri, Assistant Professor of Finance at Emory University's Goswata Business School. Ganduri explains that unlike traditional banks, credit unions are not-for-profit financial institutions. Any profits that the, the credit union makes uh, will, be, will eventually trickle down to the members in terms of lower interest rates or you know, lower fees and those kinds of things. As for insurance, in a traditional bank, your money is insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or FDIC. In a credit union, it's insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Both organizations are backed by the federal government to cover any amount up to $250,000. Amounts above $250,000 in a single account are not insured. Well, those are usually business accounts, uh, but typically that doesn't occur very often at, at credit unions. So 91% of the entire industry is insured. Ganduri says there are a few traditional banks the FDIC doesn't insure. All federally chartered credit unions and the overwhelming majority of state chartered credit unions are insured. The Georgia Department of Banking and Finance tells us that some states allow credit unions to offer private insurance, but not here in Georgia. So we can verify that, like traditional banks, the vast majority of deposits in credit unions are insured through organizations that are backed by the federal government.